Hey there, everybody, whether you're skaters or cyclists or whatever sport you might do, thanks a lot for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Ketones IQ, the HVMM Ketones that I found to be the best out there in the market. I have tried these for a month now and I decided to team up with HVMN uh, simply just to share my experiences because I found them to be more beneficial than I could have even imagined. The reason I haven't really been into ketones, ketones beforehand is because I never really saw um, an idea uh, behind it when I do speed skating. We do relatively short efforts, especially now that I switched to ice skating. I never do anything longer than 13 minutes uh, and you know, Previously, ketones have been for more of aerobic things, ultra endurance. Uh, I'm gonna make another separate video where I dive a little more into what ketones actually are, the more scientific aspects of it. But uh, short story or long story short is that ketones are basically uh, an additional sort of fuels um, that we can use by, or we can replace carbohydrates and use ketones as that fuel. The downside is that in order to develop ketones naturally in the body, we would have to limit our carbohydrate intake uh, in order to produce these ketones. However, if you supplement them externally, well, obviously you're gonna have ketones without going through a restrictive diet that will then limit your carbohydrate availability, which ultimately will be the optimal fuel when going at really high intensities, so you wouldn't want that either. And uh, now there has just been a handful of recent studies showing that Ketones are beneficial not just for ultra endurance, not just for endurance, but even in short duration sports and even down to, to six seconds efforts on a bike, uh, which I really believe that can also carry over to speed skating where six seconds is way shorter than the shortest sprint. So I've been testing these out for a month. The results really speak for themselves. I have improved in a ton of different things. One of the cool things about tracking basically everything, um, I've done that since I went to my first Olympics about six years ago, I have tracked my HRV, my resting heart rate, my wattage, my sleeping patterns, um, my amount of restorative sleep. Uh, so I have all these numbers, not just the average of the last month, but the last years. So it's been pretty, very, pretty interesting to compare those numbers to the numbers I have now gotten with the HVMN. Um, I'll tell you right now, in case I forget later, that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can hop onto their website, read more about the ketones, and you can order some to try it out. There is gonna be 30% discount on the first month if you uh, get on their subscription plan. To be honest, the biggest thing that goes against using ketones is the price of them. Oh, HVMN, however, found a way to uh, produce these ketones uh, at a relatively fair price compared to the other brands out there in the market. So. Look into that, because as you will see here, the numbers are pretty convincing. So the first number that I tracked was my WHOOP recovery score, which over the last half year has been 55%. And for this month, which was definitely not an easy month, I can tell you that based on my Strava strain, uh, which was probably the highest I've tracked the whole year, and training at altitude where I generally do not recover as well and don't sleep as well, my WHOOP recovery score was a 62% compared to a 55 that has been the average for the previous months. So quite the improvement there. And that is also where I think the ketones can make the biggest difference is not in that acute performance, even though there's definitely some to gain, which you'll see later. I do find it to be that long-term recovery overnight, that re, the, the glycogen resynthesis in the muscles from each workout because you can simply use the ketones as a buffer, allowing you to just have an extra set of fuel for all your workouts and to recover faster in between, especially on the days where you have two workouts. Um, if we look at the HRV, which is a great indication of how well your recovery or your nervous system has recovered, my HRV for the month on ketones tracked an average of 68, uh, whereas the previous months has been 59, which is, quite the difference. And I do find that HRV is the most important number to track in coordination sports, such as speed skating. It is what my coach and I use basically every single morning before we hop on the ice or the inlines to see how hard that workout can actually be. So this is just one of the things that has allowed me to train harder since I started out using the ketones. Next up would be the resting heart rate. I haven't found that much of a difference in the resting heart rate. 
uh, my average since using the ketones is one beat lower than prior to the ketones. Some of it could be altitude or some of it could be that I simply train harder when I'm on ketones, leading me to the next thing here, my aerobic wattage. So the wattage I track when I'm below my threshold. Um, here my zone two wattage has been 232 for average with the ketones and without the ketones it has been 221 for the previous week and then if we look at the last month's average before the ketones it was 209 so for that same intensity that same heart rate i did <laughs> improve a pretty mind-blowing 23 watts for average in my aerobic zones and this is simply just because you don't use as much of your glycogen, glycogen, you don't use as much of your available carbohydrates because you have the ketones in addition. Uh, the final one is the bike heart rate, which I think it's worth to mention that it has been two beats lower with the ketones, the, comparing that to before the ketones. So even lower effort for 23 watts more is incredible. Now, this is also what ketones are mainly made for, the endurance sports. But as a skater, a lot of it is the recovery, a lot of it is the aerobic fitness. So if those two can be easier for me, that allows me to have more energy for the training on the ice, which is ultimately the main goal here. There's a lot more numbers here. I'm gonna share those with you here on the screen. We can look at the sleep performance, went from a 71% to a 79% after using the ketones. My amount of restorative restorative sleep improved by 29 minutes per night, which looking at the percentage is pretty incredible. And then just some really fun bonus information here is that the first week I was using the ketones, I scored my highest HRV of the whole season, despite that being the hardest week of the whole season. And I also beat my fastest flying lap ever, which goes to show that uh, the myth about ketones not being good for sprinters, it's just a myth. Um, you will always go towards using your carbohydrates, your glycogen, when doing all out or really hard efforts. The only difference here is that you have the ketones. So if you do repeated efforts, that's gonna make a difference. This is also why I invited my good friend Lat here um, on, the, on the channel, on this video, to explain a little bit about how that actually works. And I do remember the Olympics where we had the semifinals an hour and 10 minutes before the final in the mass start. I do regret that I didn't have ketones, but I also know that I will have them for the next games, which I'm pretty excited for. So I will just invite you lad here to take it away and how come ketones also can benefit you in these repeated efforts, even though they're short efforts where you would assume that you're only using the glycogen. How can ketones help with anaerobic sports such as speed skating? Now, the data around this is still very scarce. There is so far one study that showed that ketone IQ increases anaerobic performance and decreases fatigue levels. Granted, for full transparency, this study was sponsored by HVMN, but I do recommend and invite independent researchers all around the world to see what they can replicate in their study, as well as investigate the mechanism of action within their lab setting. What we may think could be the mechanism of action would be the effect of ketone IQ on the brain. It increases the mental focus and clarity that helps people push further and harder. But on top of that, it may also have analgesic effect similar to that of caffeine as these participants are going through the anaerobic Wingate test, which is meant to build up lactic acid and increase localized muscle group pain. So that analgesic effect will help them to push further and harder compared to placebo. Thank you so much, Lat. That was great having you on board here. It was great, you know, putting that angle to it. Um, having an expert is always nice. And it's also great for me understanding why things make me better. I always believe that you're more motivated when you really understand why you would take these. It is no secret that it's not for the taste of them, but I can definitely live with that if it makes me a better skater and a better athlete. Um, I wanna say that this is probably gonna be the first of quite a few of these ketone videos. I think it's a super interesting thing. Uh, as some of you might know, I am a, I have a bachelor in health and nutrition. I'm a dietitian, uh, so that is my background besides speed skating. So I always find it interesting when those two things can connect and, and better nutrition can make you a better athlete. And I have really found something here in the ketones IQ. So I'm gonna make more 
uh, interesting videos on that, how to dose it and, and maybe share more of my very specific progress. Uh, I am looking to do a FTP test with and without the ketones to see how that uh, plays out. And then I'm also gonna make a video on the amount of dosing. I'll try and see if Vlad is available for that one because he does know a lot more about that than me. He is the one that advised me to do the protocol I'm on right now. But I do wanna mention that they come in these two different bottles. This one has 10 shots in it, whereas this one has one. I order both in my monthly subscription. I get both of them so that I can have this one in the fridge at home, take it before long bike rides, take it before workouts. And then I bring this one as a recovery ketones that are just more practical to bring along. And it also tastes a little better because there is some monk fruit extract in it, which uh, is pretty nice. There's so much more information on that website, so check the link below. And uh, I think that was it for this one. If you have any questions on the ketones, any ideas for things that we, I or Lat, both of us, should talk about in the next video, let me know in the comments section and I will make sure to address those as soon as I can. But for now, thank you so much for watching this. I hope that that helped you figure out whether or not ketones is worth it for you. I do really recommend it. I can't remember last time I came across a supplement that had that much of an effect on my performance. So pretty stoked about that. Thank you HVMN for being part of this project. Thank you Lat for hopping on here, giving us a more scientific approach on the ketones. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching. I'll see you for next time.